YB stays on your neck. <laughs> you expect the rematch to take place? Um, if it takes place here, it would be great. But if it goes to Mexico, it'll be even greater. Yeah. Mm. But if they're trying to move it over there to the UK, and that's what we're trying to negotiate, who has make the ultimate bring it over here? Um, I don't know. You're the I champ. I'm the champ. <laughs> but... such a spotlight. I don't buy it. Like... Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Money talks, right? Money right. talks. They want me to go over there. They gotta get more funds in. Let me let me ask. They want me to go over there. They gotta get more funds in. Let me let me ask. They want me to go over there. They gotta get more funds in. Let me let me ask. Yo, my dons, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and obviously hit the bell for notifications. So we just heard there from Andy, Margin Boo, Ruiz. Now, this whole contract situation has been very interesting indeed. I've done several videos where Eddie Hearn said blatantly, listen, even Eddie Hearn tweeted as well. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn slash the UK side, we have the final say, which when you think, if you have any logic in your head, I mean, you can't use the logic with the LDBC lot, but anyone with any brains, aka anyone who's not in the LDBC, listen, if you are even marginally associated with the LDBC, this would probably go right over your head. But anyone with any logic would understand that obviously, bearing in mind Anthony Joshua was probably the 95 to 5 A side, in fact, he was more like the 99 to 1 A side going into this fight. Of course, Anthony Joshua, when he put in the rematch clause, when he, when they wrote, when his lawyers did the rematch clause details and whatnot, why would they leave it open for? Why would they say, oh, you know what? Even though we're the 99 to 1 A side, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to write the rematch clause and we're going to leave the money we pay you and we're going to leave um, the option or the right to the location open to everyone. Yeah? Or we're going to, in fact, you know what? Even though we're the 99 to 1 A side, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to write the rematch clause and we're going to say Andy Ruiz, we're going to put in the rematch clause, Andy Ruiz can demand any figure if he beats us the first time and also Andy Ruiz can decide where the location will be. Of course not. Anyone with logic will understand that. The rematch clause would have been written like this. Andy Ruiz, if you beat us, you will be paid $10 million fixed. Andy Ruiz, if you beat us, the rematch location will be decided by us. That's it. And guess what? Ruiz had to bend over and take it like a champion. Because what else are you going to do? <laughs> it's either he takes that, or he goes back to Al Heyman, and he gets paid 100 grand to fight some random Don no one knows. Or... You suck it up and take the Joshua fight, and or you suck it up and allow Anthony Joshua, Anthony the cash cow Joshua, to change your life forever. That's what we do know, yeah? Oh, man, Al Heyman's did so many great things for Andy Ruiz, yeah, man, yeah, well, what we do know is, Andy Ruiz weren't talking about, show me a video, I'll tell you what to do, show me a video of Andy Ruiz talking about how much Al Heyman has changed his life. You can't find one. What we do know is, though, let's talk, let's, let's, you know what? Today we're going to talk about what we do know. What we do know is there's plenty of videos out there of Andy Ruiz talking about how Anthony Joshua has changed his life. Listen, when Andy Ruiz signed the contract with Al Heyman, he showed, there were no videos of him saying, oh, he changed my life. What we do know is, when he signed the fight with Anthony Joshua, oh, man, my life changed. Mama, we made it. Yeah, mama. So, <laughs> I cast the wrong voice, but what was it again? My speed, my movement, Anthony Joshua, he changed my life. <laughs> but think simple as that. He signed the AJ fight and my man's talking about how his life has changed. Out here like Drake. My man, we made it out here. Yeah? We made it. Dum 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 We made it. That's what he's out here. Facts. I'm only talking facts. So, as I was saying, listen, this goon, I like, listen, I like Andy Ruiz. He's done what? Fury didn't dare to do. He's done what Wilder didn't dare to do. I just feel like, not only, fair enough, you know what, if Eddie Hearn and Joshua had been, if their legal game had been sloppy, and Andy Ruiz had like kind of a leg to stand on, I wouldn't mind this, but he's acting as if he's got some power, it's just weird, I don't understand, I just don't get where he's going with this. Oh, uh, well, here it is, what does he say? Oh uh, yeah, if, if Anthony, in, uh, Andy Ruiz is insisting Oh yeah, if Anthony Joshua wants it in the UK, his, uh, more funds are going to be required. No, boss. 
it's in the contract's the contract. Ten million dollars as per Teddy Atlas. That's it. Bang. If you didn't like it, you should have said that before you signed it. Oh, I just don't understand. I think what's happening is this is the problem with the LDBC. I bet Andy Ruiz has watched all the LDBC goon videos where they're saying, "Yeah, man." <laughs> yeah, they're all sitting there laughing on the screen. Yeah, man. It's like Fallon yesterday. Yeah, man. If Anthony Joshua wants to fight Ruiz in the UK. Ruiz can just demand a hundred million dollars, yee! That's what he must have done, because, logically speaking, the contract is in front of you. I assume, unless Eddie Hearn's legal game's been slipping, unless Eddie Hearn's legal game's been sleeping, it's pretty simple and basic stuff. Why wouldn't you, as the A-side, why wouldn't you put in there the fixed amount of money we're going to pay for the rematch and the location will be decided by us? Why would you not do that? Ruiz wasn't in a position, it's, if it's Wilder, who, to be honest with you, he also isn't in a position of power to say anything, but he's, at least he's got something, a little bit of clout, to sit there and potentially um, be able to manipulate the, the rematch clause to be a bit less punitive against him. Ruiz didn't have a leg to stand on, and he still doesn't, I don't believe. Eddie Hearn said himself in a recent interview, he came out and said, listen, the bottom line is, we have the say, and rightly so. Eddie Hearn also went on to say, to be fair to him, if Ruiz beats us again, he's the daddy. That's why I never understood with these people. Why do they not just want to do the work twice, and then they're done with it? They always want to, I feel, with Wilder, Fury, they always want a leg up. And I, I, to be honest with you, I blame Al Heyman, because he's the one who's behind them, a lot of these schmucks. They always want something they haven't worked for. You haven't become unified champion. You haven't collected the belts up. You haven't sold out Wembley. You haven't shut down the MSG. You haven't done that, but you want it. You want the clout for it. You want the paper for it, but you haven't done it. Tyson Fury, you've never sold out the O2. You never sold out Wembley. You never done a pay per view in the UK. Wilder, you're on your first pay per view and it flopped. It was dead. But yet you want. Oh, we want. We demand. It's going to be 60 40 in our favour soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy Ruiz, another cat. Never sold a damn ticket in his life. Literally never sold a ticket. That whole MSG stuff was literally done on AJ's back. The whole lot of it. But that bit you want to talk about, oh, I'm the champion. Yeah, you beat him once, 100%. Is anyone denying that? No. But you still don't bring a lick of money in. That's what we do know. There's still no evidence that Andy Ruiz is, can be or will be a draw. There's no evidence for it. No evidence. At all. So I just don't understand what he means. Oh, yeah, if, if AJ wants to rematch in the UK, more funds are required. Who does this guy think he is? Oh, yeah, he's the world champion. Of course he is, but you've also forgot. You may be the world champion, but you're legally bound by the rematch clause, so you can be what you want. Bottom line is, you signed the contract beforehand. This is what I don't rate people for. If you had an issue with it, you should have made the issue heard. If you was that confident you was going to win, you should have said, listen, I'm going to beat AJ. This rematch clause ain't doing it for me. But you didn't do that. You signed it. You was grateful. So just make sure you keep up that gratefulness about, about, oh, if you want the rematch in the UK, more funds are required. Who's putting this stuff in his head? And this is the problem with these, with these fake-ass legal donnies. They don't understand the law. They don't understand how contracts work, because this dude, unfortunately for Ruiz, he actually, he, I think he might believe what he's saying. Oh, if they want it in the UK, more funds are required. <laughs> this guy's gassed, isn't he? Proper gassed. And when they say that's the other thing, people keep telling me, oh, well, AJ didn't even come to Ruiz's, AJ didn't come to Ruiz's backyard, Ruiz's backyard is in Mexico. Listen, let's get something straight, Mexicans. Yeah? Andy Ruiz don't live in Mexico, he lives in the US. Factual. Let's sit, let's, let's break it down. D does or does not Andy Ruiz live in the US? Yes. Let's see where Joshua lives. Does Joshua live in Nigeria? No. Joshua lives in the UK. Therefore, Ruiz's hometown is the USA. That's where he lives. If Ruiz wants to be known as, a, as an out-and-out -out Mexican, if Ruiz was based in Mexico, I'd be saying, you listen, you've you you got a point there, actually, because he doesn't live there. He lives in the US! A.K.A. Joshua came to the US. I believe Ruiz beat Joshua on his hometown, on his homeland, and I believe he should do it again. In, in the UK, no problem. If you're going to knock him out anyway, what difference does it make? It only matters if you're scared about going to the judges' cards. That's the only place it will matter. But the way Joshua's chin was acting up, I don't see why you should have an issue going there about you need more money. You would get what you're given, and you'll be told where you go to as well. Simple. Simple as that. How Heyman thinks he's smart. If he was that smart, you signed it. You should have had a problem with it before, boss man. Simple. No doubt. 